Hello guys, here I have LG Smart TV and I was struggling with providing the pass-through for the optical out to my audio video receiver from Xbox One S. It will be the same I believe for any other console as PlayStation, Xbox One or whatever. Why I have this problem? My audio video receiver does not support 4K, it does not support ARC return uh, channel, audio return channel actually. So, why we have this problem? Because TV by default is set to pass through the audio from all HDMI you connect devices. It will pass through only uncompressed audio whatever you the source is so for example for hdmi output is not the problem but as i said before my audio video receiver does not support this thing so i use output optical from tv to my audio video receiver and optical cable or optical output is limited to uncompressed stereo sound okay you cannot send the multi-channel audio through optical output this is a problem so how to bypass this where is the thing you can on lg smart tvs you can on maybe not on smart tvs as well you can turn on you can set actually the pass through audio pass through to different settings and i will show you how later at the beginning i will show you what settings you have on the console so we go to settings here on the bottom here i do okay here we have all settings here you have display and sound so you do right thing and you do here audio output it's hard to get the focus for this device for some reason, but whatever. Third icon will save for the output. You can see it. So, what we have here? We have on the top, you have it says HDMI audio stereo uncompressed. What will happen if we choose this thing? You can see it says 5.1 uncompressed. It will give you the error, right? same goes for 7.1 the same error and when we choose bitstream as well it gives an error why because tv accepts only uncompressed pcm audio and to make sure when i press press info on tv here on the top it says pcm i don't know why it's not focusing me yeah, i just do it again PCM, you see, and uh, my audio video receiver as well. It shows PCM and it shows format only two channels. Okay, so how we can fix it? There are different ways to get to the service menu on LG, and I found the best what works for me is a smartphone what has an infrared beam. So you can download the application from the description for this video. The application is called Any Mod Smart Remote. I will show you how you can get here. So this is the title screen. You press TV. You press LG. Here on the top it has LG. It's loading now. Get in the database a bit. So maybe it needs Wi-Fi. Let me turn it on. Okay, let's try again. LG TV. Okay. This is what it gives you as a main remote control but we need to go back here you have here service remote okay this is what you get and then you will use this thing e e easy adjust okay 
But prior to do this, we disconnect all HDMI cables from TV, okay? So you disconnect all HDMI cables. Next thing we do, I press here, easy adjust. But I need to point my phone to the TV. Okay, okay. This is what you get if everything is sees each other. So the password here is 0413. So take your TV remote control and type here 0413. Okay? So you will have this menu or something like that. It could be in different options. I strongly recommend you do not alternate anything here. Inside I will show you the audio option. You can easily break your TV and nobody will help you after that. So, do not modify anything. In some uh, TVs it could be in option 5, for example. But to go back you press again, easy adjust here. Okay, so in my case, the option I need sits in the, this section, option 7. You see, it says PCM, on the top it says 2, option 7. So it could be in your case, option 6, option 5, I don't know. So, what we do here, pressing left and right you can change settings. I will put to DTS here, okay. Next thing I press exit and I turn off TV. I all do this from TV remote. Okay. Next thing I turn on TV back and now I can connect back my console. Let's see what it's showing now. There is not, no sound output as you can see, right? Just to remind you, I connected my Xbox One S 4K console to my 4K TV. And I want to pass through my audio from the console to TV using optical output. And my optical output is connected to my audio video receiver. Okay, so I connect my console back to HDMI on my TV. Come on, come on. Finally. Okay, so what we have here. Here on the top it says DTS, you see already, right? Why it says DTS? Don't ask me, okay? I don't know. But, what we can do here? Go in here. Uncompressed will not work because it's still from optical output. I can show you. But if you choose Bitstream Out, here on the bottom, I turn on to Bitstream now and I press info button and you see it says DTS on the top, right? So here you have third option when you choose what kind of Bitstream format. And I choose here for example Dolby Digital. And when I press info button again on TV you see on the top it says can you show me please? Come on, you can see it a bit. Come on, show me. Pretty girl, come on. You see Dolby Digital, right? Let me change it again. And I press info button. And it showed it is. So, but based on what I know about compressed audio, DTS is kind of a little bit better than Dolby Digital. It's less compressed in, than Dolby Digital. What we have here on the audio video receiver now, it shows DTS, and when you switch it, 
it shows you format five channels and one subwoofer so let me just quickly switch here to Dolby Digital okay and you can see it has five channels here and it says signal Dolby Digital I can put it back again DTS you see it right so doing that you can enjoy multi-channel pass through from your TV to your audio video receiver okay so please press on like button if you like this video and uh, share with your friends thank you for watching